Hi, I'm Taylor Wyatt, better known as Wyboy Online. Me and my buddy Nero Angeles watch a ton of movie trailers, and now we're trailer reactors and reviewers for Film Book. Today we'll be watching, reacting, and reviewing When We First Met. Let's watch some stuff. She was the girl of my dreams. That was the moment I knew that it was love. We met three years ago. You are a league of their own, right? Are you Garth? Excellent. What is your favorite drink? Grapefruit juice with vodka and cream maraschino cherries. Hey, do you want to get out of here? Yeah. It was the perfect first date. These things are so much fun. But I waited too long. Hi. And then I got hugged. Oh, this is so nice to have a good guy friend. I can't even tell you. To Ethan and Avery. I'm in love with Avery. If only I could go back and do everything differently. I could be the kind of guy she would want. Oh, it's gonna be like click. Yeah, click or big or anything like that. Can you tell me what year it is? It's 2014. Holy shit. I just Woo! traveled back in time. Right now, I have someone to meet. What's your favorite drink? Mine is grapefruit juice with some vodka and exactly three maraschino cherries. That's my favorite drink, too. What? This is the psycho I was telling you about. You didn't guess that I was an army brat. You already knew that. You're a stalker. Stalkers are wear like trench coats and no underwear. And, and I am clearly wearing underwear. Look. <laughs> The photo booth is a time machine. This is gonna be the best night of your life. I can deal with best night of my life. Just follow what I do, ready? <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> Are you doing a Joker impersonation? Well, this was, no, this was like, it was good. If all else fails, be an asshole. Be an asshole. Not hard asshole, soft asshole. Don't forget your uh, leather pants. Oh my god. I went full asshole. I have no control over any of this. I make a decision and then I wake up three years later with the consequences. I thought things were supposed to happen for a reason. Things happen for no reason at all, but they create opportunities. The question is, can you recognize that next opportunity when it matters the most? As long as I keep like they're gonna be like his angel or something? Yeah, I have no idea. No, I think like like one of the best, best oh friend God. characters. That's the stalker! I've got a bomb! He's got a bomb! I got a bomb! It's 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 fine. I'm sorry my bounce that ruined your magical evening. Have a great life. And keep dreaming on. The one thing I'm sort do of you, do you really do you really need a writing credit? I mean, <laughs> let, let's be honest. What did you really write? Just, uh, just, the phone is basically interrupting our thoughts on this because it, it's kind of it knows it, it's, it's reality it's, because a lot of the writing feels a little bit phoned in in a sense it's so generic and honestly I know this will be weird it's cosmically rapey yeah because it's like oh she doesn't like me okay well you're just gonna have to accept and get over that no what if i keep going back in time and try to find ways to make her like me no that's like what a rapist stalker does that is horrible yeah, they did that in the flash yeah. and you basically make that joke just like oh, you know everything about me you're not a stalker it's like no no i'm not a stalker let me just zip my zip my penis out this is stupid this it looks stupid this looks stuff i'll give credit at least it's directed to netflix it's yeah. not being put in a theater yeah, because it doesn't feel like something that most people would be interested to see in theaters. It doesn't even feel no, all that romantic. No, it feels like a generic rom com. Sense. It's it's click. It's um it's nine lives. Uh, what was the one you said? Big. big. Yeah, big. It doesn't just the thing he puts the coin in. Just like I wish I were big. Boop. Oh, I'm going back in time. Woo. Like no. Yeah. Like. Not only does it feel like a generic rom-com in and of itself, but the fact that, like, he, he feels like a scumbag in the trailer. Yeah, it really does. And it, and it feels like the, the whole trailer is edited in the fashion that it feels really slow. 
And I don't really like that sort of like comedy styling, especially for romantic comedies. Like to have a scumbag comedy sort of thing, you need it to be like a little bit faster and such, so you don't think about the scumbag part of it. Yeah, it it needs it needs to be. So it just like moves past where it's like, oh, that's kind of funny. Move on. That's it. Because if you linger on it, you stop to think about it. And you're like, wow. He's he's basically using like time travel to sexually hound a woman. That supposedly one of his best friends. What a great guy. Why would anyone think that was a good pitch? Yeah, really. Like the only thing that was sort of excited for me for it, like was Robbie Amell showed up in it. Just like, oh yeah, like good for him. Like you know, Robbie Amell was the live action Fred Jones in in, in the prequel Scooby Doo movies. Yeah, he was on The Flash and Green Arrow. He was Firestorm, and I think he went on to go have an illustrious career doing. And then they recasted Firestorm as somebody else. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a, like a lot of like short short films and all that. I think he did an indie horror comedy actually recently. Yeah, so he, he's doing well. I think he actually is a good actor, good actor and such. So good for him for getting like roles like this and all that, even though this is just kind of like bleh. Yeah, it's, it's so uninspired. Yeah, but inspired it makes it's kind of uncomfortable to think about the context. Yeah, so I definitely won't be seeing this one. <laughs> no, I'm giving this a hard pass. Yeah. Nothing about this looks into, and it's on Netflix. All I really have to do is literally just like click a button, and my Netflix app will open. It's like <sighs> the energy I would have to expend to push a button for my app to open. It's Can't too do much. It. Too much. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but we're not going to be seen when we first met. No, that looks stupid. Unapologetically, that looks stupid. It really, really does. I honestly, I'm surprised Adam Sandler wasn't in it. <laughs> and, if, yeah, it sort of does feel like that sort of comedy, even though like Fifty First States from just the scenes that I saw is like leagues much nicer. But it has that sort of same sort of plot line. Fifty First States treats it better because uh, you know he keeps dating the same woman over and over, but it's because she has short term memory from an yeah. accident. Yes, yeah, so so it actually that, shows like a much more like noble sort of sen sense to him. Like he loves this girl and he wants to like live it the rest of his life with him, and he's gonna put in the effort to do it. This guy just like, oh no, I messed up the first time, but now I will be able to make her love me. Also, can we can we address this that we need to stop saying there's like a friend zone. There isn't a friend zone. There's a they just don't want to date you. Get the hell over it. Yeah. Zone. <laughs> Yeah, oh, she friends on me. Dude, she doesn't need to give you something. Move on, you pathetic loser. Yeah, but this is just basically just the, the repetition of the friend zone archetype now. So, yeah. Yeah. No, and that's the thing. Like, the main character, he's a loser. That's it. Like, no, it's, it's never mind that that's like, oh, it's because he couldn't get the girl. No, it's because he can't get over the fact he didn't get the girl. Stop being a loser. Move on with your life. In yeah, three yeah. years, you didn't date ever again? Yeah, you didn't talk or anything like that. Just get the know That each makes other you a stalker. Other. That makes you a creepy, obsessive person. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. No, not sorry. Screw you. Screw this movie. Thank you for watching and listening to our review and reaction, folks. Be sure to comment below and tell us your thoughts. Are you excited, skeptical, or fuming mad? Tell us in the comments below and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, if you want to go and find our work, go on to film-book.com and search for Taylor Wyatt. You can also find me and Nero on YouTube discussing and analyzing all sorts of animated movies and shows. Follow the link on screen or in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to us and follow our social. If you like to support Filmbook, though, and watch future reaction videos, consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. There's a link to our Patreon page in the description, or you can find us by going to patreon.com and typing in Filmbook. Until the next trailer, thank you, and we'll see you then.